Okay, we're back at it. It's lunchtime on Wednesday. First stop. Found a bunch of great stuff yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like insane or anything, but you know, a couple nice finds. So hopefully the trend continues and it's a good week. I'm still waiting for the big score of the year. We're still on the hunt for that, but uh, you'll see it when, uh, when I find it. Hey there. Good, good. Happy hump day. <laughs> oh, I must have missed this on the cart the first time. This is kind of cool. A little uh, Snow White picnic set vintage. Might even be unopened. It looks like it is. Well, you never know what you're gonna find and we found all these like cool old retro probably dime store kind of toys those old uh power ranger water guns and these little babies and then that little mattel set too i don't know if someone's collection's coming out just kind of like might be a bad idea that i'm leaving but i didn't see anything else on the last couple carts so yeah we'll call it good head down to store number two see what they got so, I'd had second thoughts, and I'm glad I did. Just picked up this cool aircraft carrier toy. Looks like it's sealed. Found an Olympus camera. And then also found this cool uh, Ken Toys little like train city set. Both these are only 15 bucks. So some of these collections coming out, something's going on. Found this again too. Not sealed this time, unfortunately. And then a bunch of cards that are in uh, card cases, so just it's, uh, football cards. I should have never left the first time, then I could use the discount on the whole order, but uh, we used it on this one. We got the little town, the aircraft carrier, some football cards, an Olympus camera worth about 100 bucks, and that Star Wars Complete Saga again, which we sold two of already last month. All right, I'm still going to run down. I want to grab lunch at Qdoba, so still going to run down to... Store number two area I may dip in, we'll see. Okay, zip down to store number two. This is gonna have to be a real quick in out because we spent most of our uh, lunch over at store number one because of all the cool retro toys coming out. It's like dime store stuff, it's kind of cool. Definitely gonna hit that back first after work. How you doing today? I'm good. Yeah? Cool. PSP. Oh, it's a movie. Is it? Yeah, PG-13. Oh, they used to put geez. movies out on these. I did not know that. You ever play a PSP? I did when I was younger. Yeah, that was like such an amazing thing when it first came out. I was working at T Toys R Us. Heading over there. This, this is crazy. What is it? Special set of dice. Oh, cool. Huh. The fact that there's ones here that you don't normally Yeah, like normally you just see like the RPG style ones, right? Yeah. Huh. Uh, this thing is so creepy. Is it a puzzle game or something? Or a puzzle no, you like? It's just dice. Huh. How are you, sir? <laughs> Love this guy. <laughs> is it okay if he stood up to me? Hey. Cutie. Mile amplifier, but they want 50 bucks for it, and that's what it looks like it sells for a little bit over that, maybe, but you know, like 80, 70, but yeah, 50 bucks. 
Must be why it's still sitting here. I just grabbed this off the cart too, so I just wanted to look that up. People found stuff out today. Another bag of toys too. Okay, just taking a quick look at the new VHS stuff. See if anything's amazing. This caught my eye, but it's a Western. Shenandoah. I like the titling. Alright, I'm not seeing anything stick out. Alright, a little Lionel too. In honor of the uh, We Are the World documentary I just watched. And for all these uh, um, Mexican Westerns. So we'll do, do a little learning. Really great stop. Loving it. Two good stops in a row. Uh, so we got the Pops. This is you too, buddy. This is from uh, Anime Seraph something or other. We got that big stack of Mexican Western DVDs. And then the Sonos One, which was only 10 bucks. Don't know the exact model, but definitely worth more than that. So, two awesome stops. Gonna stop at Qdoba, and then go back to work. Uh, look at this napkin thing. How do you get napkins out of here? It's the worst. What's that? Oh, that one? Okay. Oh, these are not the... Uh, are they for the public, or is that one any better? Yeah, I don't know. They're weird. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good day. Okay, it is Wednesday night. We're done with work. We're back on the treasure hunt. We found some cool retro toys here at store number one at lunch. We're kind of hoping to see some more of that. Luckily, that kind of stuff, most people pass by. There's a couple other toy collectors here that might grab it, but... Mm -hmm. Nothing's popping out right away. Give me more new old stock. Huh. Might have got it. Oh, wait, here's something. That's something. Is that it? Got a pop here. I'm gonna look her up. with something. Double check. Yeah, this one again, huh? Okay, so not as much as lunch. Picked up those Time Life uh, Robin Williams DVDs again. Uh, so when the other ones sell, we'll have these to relist it. And then this was the only kind of dime story toy thing back there. So either this was it or whatever else got put out, uh, got all taken up so all good you know quick stop we'll zip down to store number two and see if uh see if we can find anything there okay last stop of the night store number two had some luck earlier i doubt that there's more dvds and stuff that came out but uh maybe there'll be something else there were three people putting carts out today so we'll take a look oh, monkey's over. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Look at all these Michael Douglas, uh, what are they? Laser discs? Must be. Disclosure. Jewel Denial. The game, Romancing the Stone, Fatal Attraction. That's funny. Ooh, George Carlin. Awesome. That's crazy. Ooh, what are you doing? 
like the Tootsie Pop. I didn't know they did plush of that. That's funny. I'm gonna have to Google image search that. Old race set. I think these are the larger scale ones too. 16 bucks. So the AFX brand is really good. I've sold these. Let's see what's actually in here. Might be impossible to get back in once I take it out though. Just want to make sure the cars are here. That's the most important part. The cars are here. All four bodies. <coughs> Everything's here. I just, gosh, I just don't know if I want to mess with it. It looks like one had sold pre-owned for 135 too. I don't know. Maybe I will grab it. Seems stupid to leave it. There's an instruction sheet that has like a count of all the tracks. That's the other thing. I don't see that in here. Anyway, I'm gonna try and put the. Oh yeah, here it is. Eh, no, that's just a quick sheet. All right. Well, we'll take a closer look later. We also found some games too. This crosstalk. Yeah, split second. I think I might have already bought this one. It's uh, sealed before. These are both like twenty, thirty dollars. Not the, not huge, but um, we get the car win. We're gonna get the monkeys, and then we're gonna get the Woody Allen one too. So yeah, some records too. Nothing crazy though. This is probably the best thing. This will be over hundred bucks easy. All right. Well, the back of my car is full of people I'm running out of room. Squeeze some of this stuff in. Put that up there. Of course, I have to get another big box. Slide you on top. And then we'll do. Don't want to push the records. Yeah. Do something like that for now. Put you flat. Put the records on me. Crush those. Okay, cool. I think we're good until we get home. All right, cool. Yep, so I'm gonna go pick orders. Good day. Gotta love a full car. All right, we had a great pickup today, but a slow sales day. First thing we sold is this Ever After High Winter Daring Charming. $35 for him, so a good sale there. And then we sold a Hot Wheels Premium Car Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, we got $20 free shipping for that. So in the middle of doing a little offers back and forth on some of these RC cars here. So we might get one more sale. We'll see, but this could be it. So definitely slow sales day. Hopefully it'll pick up and we'll see you again next time.